Welcome back to Morning Break. We just heard about an Independence Day celebration happening in Richmond Hill, and there's even more celebrations this weekend. Yeah, they are all over the Coastal Empire and Low Country, including right here in Savannah. We want to go back outside to Kyle, who is downstairs with members of the Savannah Wind Symphony. And Kyle, their patriotic concert, really one of the highlights of Savannah's Independence Day celebration. Yeah, it is a great time, uh, something that they've been doing for more than 40 years here in Savannah. The Savannah Wind Symphony will be performing on Georgia Southern's Armstrong campus coming up on Sunday. But we are so lucky here along the river uh, at uh, Plant Riverside to have members of the Savannah Wind Symphony, but also the River Street Brass Quintet, if you will. They were treating us to some patriotic music. The Washington Post March you heard a little bit earlier. And I'm going to let them uh, show you one more piece that you'll actually be able to hear on Sunday. You're a grand old flag, and I said it was a teaser, just a preview. We don't want to give away too much, but I've got Anthony Lasavita, who is the leader of this brass quartet, uh, one of the uh, trumpet players. Give us a, an idea of how this, uh, this group came together. Well, I moved here about a year and a half ago. I started playing with Savannah Winds at the Patriotic Concert last year, and uh, I wanted to pull together a brass quintet, and I met all these fine musicians in the Savannah Wind Symphony, and we, uh, we started playing together. Well, we appreciate y'all uh, giving us this treat this morning. Uh, the concert coming up on Sunday, uh, all patriotic music, uh, obviously with the theme leading into Independence Day. What is it like when you get to play some of these songs that everybody knows, everybody's familiar with, and, and you get to really just kind of, they're, they're there to celebrate along with you? It's very exciting. Some of the music that we can play, people are not as uh, familiar with, but with these patriotic tunes, everybody knows them and they, they really do have a great time. And sometimes they, that gets some clapping in the audience and gets oh, yeah. probably some hoots and hollers as well. Ones, yeah. What is it uh, about being able to perform with the Savannah Wind Symphony that, that kind of drew you in and, and brings this, this, these folks and musicians together? Well, I've, I've played with a couple community groups before. Um, this is by far one of the most solid groups I've ever played with. Everybody's from different walks of life, but they're all part of the music community, and they bring together great music, and it's it's really a treat to be able to play with everyone. I want to give everybody a shout-out really quickly. Uh, Brian Egan, our other trumpet player as well. We've got the one and only uh, Jimi Hendrix, not that Jimi Hendrix, but this one on the tuba, uh, Mark Spradley on the trombone, and Ashlyn Rawson on the horn, and we thank them for joining us. They're going to continue uh, playing for us here this morning, a taste of other uh, music from the concert, but I want to bring in Bob Slagle, the uh, vice president of uh, the board of directors for the Savannah Wind Symphony. Um, Bob, exciting time, something that's been going on for, for decades. This is a, an experience that people expect this time of the year. They do. They love it, and uh, they come out in droves. So if you're interested in getting tickets, you better get them because uh, they're selling. Uh, we, we've been going through this uh, process to, to find a, a future full-time conductor. Um, you're down to two. We're going to meet uh, both of them, and they're going to actually be participating in the concert. That's absolutely right. They're, they're both very accomplished musicians, and uh, the ensemble loves to play under them, so it's going to be a tough choice, but one we have to make. What is it like, and kind of what I asked Anthony about, being able to, to play these songs that everyone is familiar with? There's not going to be a song that, that comes up on, on Sunday that people aren't, you know, at least familiar with, whether they know it by heart. And, you know, this is, everybody's kind of there for the same reason. Well, it's a combination of joy and, and uh, remembrance. And we have a couple will be tearjerkers. Uh, Arlington is always the tearjerker, and we have a video to go along with that. So uh, it's it's very emotional for the whole audience and all the uh, musicians as well. What do, what do folks need to know if uh, if they're preparing to come out today or coming out on Sunday? Wear red, white, and blue. <laughs> Bring your flags, pom poms, whatever you have that's red, white, and blue, and wave them. Clap. Enjoy. You got to enjoy it. And again, it's coming up uh, Sunday at three o'clock at the Fine Arts Auditorium at Georgia Southern's Armstrong Campus. Of course, that concert is inside. We've got a lot of things this weekend that are happening outside. And for a look at what you can expect heading into the weekend, let's get you over to First Alert meteorologist Dylan Smith.